Right, so I just picked up this um, Kentec post driver from Higher Agri in uh, Rat Cabin uh, Tipperary, just 10 minutes outside Portumna, so it's not very far from me. Very good location. Um, handy looking post driver, and it's on this um, trailed jig here. Now for regular viewers this might seem like a bit of deja vu as I had this machine out two years ago on the case 4230 but this is how I got on. So yeah clearly struggled there wasn't able to drive in a six foot stake and struggling to lift up the hammer So today we'll see if the John Deere can do what the case could not.
Now I've no drone yet, but what's the next best thing? A big hill with a view. And I just thought I'd show you where I put in all these posts. So we have a big sprawl of a field there and in, it should have been, well it should be split up whether it be electric fence strip grazing or whatnot for grazing it now and again. It's, it's nice to have, let the animals have a run, but it's also just not a great use of such a large area. So I have two acre and a half paddocks there. It's roughly three acres there to one side. And you can see I can add on that section to the wall over there and there'd be two or three more um, units there. And it'd be a nice area to rotate even calves um, for sheep. I'm thinking of someone one-foot sheep wire on it and a few strands of barbed wire and make it a good stock fence. But um, you can see how I got on there. I, I have a nice straight line of small posts, um, strainers in. Not great at putting in those struts for the strainers. It takes a bit of getting used to, but. So yeah, again, fencing has always been just, just a pain because it takes so much effort and work and money to uh, go and put the thing up. And all we've ever been using is a sledgehammer. And uh, you saw me try and rent this last year with the case and that turned into another whole pile of hardship. So fencing for me on this land. Now, so I must give you a review of this Kentech post driver. Um, what can I say? It's only oak I've ever used. Uh, it's better than a sledgehammer. It's definitely better than a sledgehammer. Um, no, but it's great. I hooked it up to John Deere five minutes later. I was knocking in an eight foot strainer like it was nothing. Um, again, 400 kg. If I didn't mention before, there's a 400 kg weight there, the square uh, block. You have your plate to rest on top of the stakes. Try and get a spike into the timber. Keep it steady. Leave that down. Take off your chain there when the weight is off it and then you can go away and hammer and uh, the leveling and the the tilt and side to side shift all of it whatever works great it's fantastic even though there's a bit of play quite a bit of play in my rear link arms um, this yoke no issue leveling is out with its uh, self leveling features uh, it's very quick the, the, the speed it can lift that 400 kg weight is absolutely ridiculous so you have to be very careful using this machine but all in all great machine it worked on the back of a 30 year old tractor and no bother to the both of them but we'll probably have it out again in the next couple of weeks um, yeah I would like to expand that but I need a bit more cash a bit more time get this bit up first most important thing get them out get the sheep out and the lambs out